This video is about using AI to create complex thought leadership blog posts fully vetted and researched by AI. I'll show you how to go from an idea or a messy transcript to a beautiful blog post full of citations and links to current resources. While this process can improve any blog post workflow, it's especially helpful for nuanced niche or B2B blog posts. I'll start with some ideas for coming up with unique angles for your blog posts and then I'll move on to a prompt that can create a killer first draft. From there I'll use AI to fact check itself and do additional research and return tons of citations to ensure that the writing is credible and free of hallucinations. You might be surprised to hear that I won't be using ChatGPT much for this. Instead, I'll show you a few other free tools that I've found to work much better. Today, I hope I can help you solve some of the most glaring problems with using AI for writing thought leadership blog posts, including its typical thin and general content output, its problems dealing with large files, out-of-date citations, bad research, hallucinations, and more. Make sure to stick around at the end of the video. I'll show you exactly how I came up with this process so that you can continuously fine-tune your process to make sure that some of these prompts match your tone and your format to a T. Let's dive in. So this process starts with gathering a transcript. You can start with just script or Otter AI to transcribe a recorded call. You can, this can be a call maybe with one of your clients. This can be someone interviewing you or you interviewing a subject matter expert, getting a bunch of ideas in a messy format into a transcript that looks something like this. This is a 20 page uh, d document here of a transcript with a client that worked perfectly for this process. Another idea is to find a YouTube video and enable the VoxScript plugin and transcribe that YouTube video and ideally it would be related to what you want to write a blog post about but not directly ripping somebody off. So in this example I found a video all about the future of AI and how it's going to transform many industries. It touches a little bit on healthcare but I wanted to blow that out and create a blog post very specifically about healthcare. This is the only part we're going to use ChatGPT because we can use that VoxScript plugin to, to create that transcript. I simply asked, can you create a transcript of this video? And it did not want to write the full transcript. I had to nudge it and say, hey, can you please create a full transcript of this video? Created this full transcript of this video all about some future aspects of how AI is going to shape the world. It touches a little bit on healthcare, but I wanted to just use this as the background for creating a blog post about how AI will shape healthcare in the future. And that's what our example is going to be today. So gathering that source material, again, from some sort of transcript, interviewing a client, interviewing a subject matter expert, getting somebody to interview you, or scraping something from a YouTube video is a great way to start. And then we're going to begin with this prompt. So this is on two slides here. This prompt I've seen work very well. I've used it uh, for a few different blog posts and it hits all the highlights of a classic thought leadership blog post. I'm not going to read it all to you here. The only thing you would need to adjust is the, within these square brackets, putting in your audience there. Take a look at these bullet points. Uh, grab a screenshot or I should mention I have all of this in a cheat sheet there's a link in the description of this video for my patreon subscribers you can get all of these prompts where you can just easily copy and paste those prompts right directly into the different large language models we're going to use today this is the killer prompt that's been working very well slide one slide two there let me show you what this came up with so I grabbed that transcript. I'm jumping into Claude now. So this is Anthropics Claude or Claude 2. This uh, has performed way better for me than ChatGPT, specifically with large files. So when I wanted to dump in this very large 20-page transcript, ChatGPT couldn't handle it. But Claude shined, and that's one of the benefits of Claude is that its context window or its memory is many times larger than the current ChatGPT window. So I dropped in this prompt and this transcript that I grabbed from that YouTube video, and it created a pretty awesome first draft, although it quoted a lot of different things here, and I wasn't really sure 
where these quotes were from, where these numbers were coming from. So what I wanted to do here next is I moved from Claude to perplexity. So I took the uh, draft from Claude and brought it into perplexity. And I said, please fact check the following blog article draft, including the links to the data cited here. So this is how I use perplexity.ai, which is a whole different large language model that is plugged into the internet to fact check this draft. So I copied this here into Perplexity AI. Please fact check the following. And it ran through all of this. It said here, after fact checking this article, I found the following information. This is how we're gonna get our citations that I spoke about in the intro. And this pulled together all these different citations of things that uh, were relevant to that article. So then I brought that back in to Claude. If you can see, I'm using Claude as a the writing AI, and I'm using perplexity.ai as my research assistant. So I said, this is great, but we need to cite any data reference. Please adjust the draft using the following citations and omit any data points that are not specifically cited here. Here's the following research. This I just copied and pasted into Claude from Perplexity. And if you hit this little clipboard that is very nice that all these large language models have, it will pull together not only the context of its reply, but also links to all the different citations. So from there, Claude was able to say, here is an updated version, and it's referencing all of these different citations which is wonderful. Now we're checking it for hallucinations. We're finding resources that can back up all of the claims that are made in these articles. And these are some of the biggest problems with large language models. Next, I was wondering, hey, is there any other research that might make this blog post even stronger? So I, I'm back here still in Anthropics Claude. I said, great, now please list five research areas for stats and citations that can make this draft even more impactful. Said, hey, here are five research areas that might strengthen this draft. So I grabbed that, copied that here, and dropped that back into perplexity. Here are five areas that could further strengthen this blog post. Can you look into some of this stuff? And it said, here are a bunch more citations to strengthen that blog post. Beautiful stuff here. So now we're really jamming this thing with tons of different citations and resources. It's now looking very different from just simply putting into ChatGPT, write me a quick blog post about how healthcare might impact AI. So I did the same thing. I dropped this research back into Claude. I said, please update your draft with the following research. Make sure that all citations are included in this next version. Here's the research. And that this is the research right up here. It just consolidates it into this little text file. And here's the updated draft now with tons and tons of citations to all sorts of mainly credible sources. You definitely want to spend some time looking through some of these. Some of them are a lot more credible than others. For the most part, I think it does a good job. It doesn't always know, you know, what's a credible source, but I haven't found too many actually that are bad, but I would highly recommend just double checking all of that. So I also noticed that it starts to shorten things as it continues to write. So when we started, the initial blog post, I think, was closer to 500 words. And this final draft here was only about 300 words. So I said, hey, can you please make sure we're getting closer to that thousand word mark? And it says, it claims that this is 977 words. It's not, it's only about 500, but I was able to get it to be a little bit more of a robust article there so we can get the most out of all of those citations. So there you go, going from a transcript, going from just a raw idea and funneling that through first ChatGPT if you need to pull some stuff off of a YouTube video and then taking it into Claude to create the first draft 
going back and forth between Claude and Perplexity to add some research and make sure you're citing any data that you're referencing. Then you can use Claude to recommend different images and visual components, photographs, stock imagery, etc. And once you have a final draft that you're happy with, you can simply click the clipboard at the bottom here, copy this into WordPress or whatever your blog of choice is, and you get something like this. Then you might need to hyperlink where the resources link out to here, and you might need to copy and paste some of the visual items that Claude recommended. But there you have it, a thought leadership blog post completely written, researched, and vetted all using AI. So here's a final idea on how you can continuously improve this process is that if you have a draft that you've written and a transcript from potentially one of your clients, one of your subject matter experts, you can use that transcript and say, hey, please create a draft from this transcript. Then you can say, hey, here's my final version. Can you compare your draft to this version? And Claude specifically will do a great job comparing the two versions and say that the human written draft was better for these reasons. Then you can take that exact copy from Claude's response and continuously update that initial prompt. And that's how I was able to come up with that prompt that's been working very well, but I think it can be improved upon. And I think that you can customize it to your specific format, a little bit closer to your voice and tone, etc. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. Again, I have all of this in my Patreon and I make a cheat sheet like this for all of my videos. I have many dozens of them there now. This gives you the full workflow, some additional ideas on how to repurpose con content from your podcasts, etc. So if you got something out of this, I'd appreciate you checking out my Patreon. Also, obviously, please feel free to subscribe, comment. I love hearing from you in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.